As of MasterCamp 2021, MacDeck and our suppliers will be using content files to distribute post processors. In this video, we'll be going over how to use one, how it will save you time, and what actually makes up an MCAM.content file. Content files are used to easily install MasterCamp files such as posts, tool libraries, and machine definitions. Rather than installing each file individually, content files streamline the process by automatically installing all the included files into their corresponding locations on the computer. In our case, we will be looking at a MCAM-content file that includes a post processor from one of our vendors, Postability. So we, here we have the file. We would get this from a email attachment. We can save this locally onto our computer. The next step is going to be to drag the file right into MasterCam 2020. We will get a notification saying that we have extracted and copied all of the files. Now we can double check to make sure our machine is there. I'll go to Mill, click on my Mazak, and just to confirm, our post is there. And that's it. We're done. We've loaded the post. Now, the next scenario we're going to go over is if we already had the post loaded and we've got some edits done on the post itself and we've sent it back to you, um, the process is the same. We're going to take the file, drag it into MasterCam. We're going to get the notification that there's already some existing files there. What do we want to do? Um, in this case, and most cases, we're going to hit apply action to all subsequent conflicts. And then we're going to replace the original file in the destination folder. We'll get the same message saying it was successfully extracted. And we'll say, okay. Now we have the most up-to-date post loaded and ready to go. Um, just like uh, always, when we get an updated post um, and we're using an existing part file, we're going to make sure we're going to go to file, replace, and reselect the post. It's a good habit to get into. Um, whenever we're dealing with older part files and updated post processors with changes, we're going to replace the post in the part file. And now we're ready to program using our latest post. Now, so basically all this file is is a zipped folder with a specific folder structure. So we can extract this and take a look. So shared MasterCam, what this will do is it'll ensure that it goes to the shared drive when we drop the file into MasterCam. And now this shared drive looks exactly like our shared drive in our public documents. So shared mill post, and there's our post processor shared CNC machines, and here's our machine definition and control definition. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more MasterCam videos. We can be reached at sales at macdac.com or support at macdac.com. Thanks for watching.